Hello once again everybody, today I'm going to be doing a different video than what I usually do and I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to set up plugins on FTP Beyond this time we're using version 1.2.1 .1. by plugins I mean how to set up sponge so we'll begin by downloading the FTP Beyond server file which we can find if you type on Google FTP Beyond server download and we click on something and then we go to fires. We need to search for the release because this is the latest recommended version. So we click on here and we do not download the first link. We go down and we download this. And this is pretty much this file here. So now what we do is we just extract everything into here. And then we pretty much delete this. Now what you want to do is you want to set the EULA to true because we all love the EULA and we want to launch ftb install.bat Now what we also want to do here is that we want to download sponge to begin with pretty much so we type on google sponge download and here we go and now we just download the latest build for spongeforge in this case we're using this build so let's download it and we keep it and then we just drag it into our mods folder now if you search in here we should see it right over here as you can see so now that we got sponge out of the picture uh, we need to download a sponge bootstrap otherwise our server won't boot due to how a to uh, I don't know how to explain it but basically we need to download this it'll fix a lot of problems in the future with servers not starting up and such I will also link all of these downloads in the description so we download sponge bootstrap and we drag it into the main folder here yes and now we edit server start dot bat and pretty much what we can do here, let me just find it. Here we go. Am I blind or something? Uh, da. I think we replace here, if I'm not mistaken. And that should be it. So you replace it like this, and then we save. And another thing that we want to download, at least I had issues with this, is that you want to download the latest 1.10.2 over here. 1.10.2 forge version and in this case 2254 which is also recommended by sponge so we download the installer like this and we also drag it in here and we double click on it and we pretty much do extract and what we want to do is we want to go to this folder now in this case tutorial sponge beyond and click open and then just click OK and now we have the forge file we can delete this now and now all that you want to do is just click on server start to that if I said that correctly and it seems that I did and now we're going to wait it out till it starts and then I'm going to explain something that will make life kind of easier. We'll just wait a bit.
Let's uh, really quickly check if the sponge config has been generated already. It has. Now what we're going to do to speed this video, we're going to kill this. We're going to edit the sponge config file. So, what we are looking for is this. Now we're going to change this to game direction, as you can see here. And we're going to change the config here to be in plugins slash config. We're going to save this now. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make a new folder called plugins and in it a new folder called configs at least I believe that that is what I named them I will check really quickly might have said uh, plugins config hmm, let's say just configs there we go and now what we're going to do is just throw two plugins in here so that I demonstrate. The reason why I did this is if you didn't do this, you would put all of Sponge's plugins into the mods directory and all the configs would be thrown into the config directory. And in my opinion, that's kind of not really organized now, is it? So now we're going to start the server up again and check if our plugins work. Another note, to find sponge plugins, we search on Google pretty much sponge plugins and then we click on latest plugin release topics and then we can see the latest plugins that were released, I mean the latest topics and then we can see the top ones as well. And if you click on some then you can get the download link and pretty much use that plugin by throwing it to the plugins folder. I think that pretty much sums it up. Now we just wait for the server to start up so I can demonstrate that this all works and that will pretty much end the video guys. Now, if I'm not mistaken, it should let me connect now. 
as you can see I'm connecting let's do a quick check let's up myself and let's do slash econ and christy 71r1 as you can see I added balance so that means that economy light works now let's make a quick little town to new potato and that means that I have successfully created a town but in this case it says nations because I need to modify that outside of the language file because we're using a modified version of nations that pretty much works like town I think this sums up this video guys this video pretty much explains how to set up an FTB beyond server with plugins in this case using sponge I don't think there's any better alternatives than using sponge anyway and thank you guys for watching please subscribe for more videos like this and goodbye guys